What's troubling you, Basil? I don't know. It seems to be some cause, sort of, uh, just a malaise and a melancholy that has fallen over me. I feel wistful and uh, reflective. I see. How long has this been going on? About two weeks. Two weeks, you say? Yes. Well, that's a long time. It is, especially when you're in the throes of it, which I am right, right now, you bastard. <laughs> oh, Laureen's only good personal. I didn't mean it that way. Uh, understood. Very well, then. Shake hands on it. Good, good fellow. Good man. you I, 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 I digress. What I meant to say was that I believe what it is is that there is something amiss and I am having an existential panic. An existential panic? Yes. What sort of boulder dash is that? <laughs> it's real, I tell you. Look at all this works being done by Dr. Freud and Dr. Young. Oh, Dr. Freud and Dr. Young. Next thing you're going to tell me about behavioral therapies and such nonsense. I won't have it in my court. I won't have it in my house. And I certainly won't have it in my bathroom. Get out, sir. Do you mean it? Yes, I've never been more serious in my life. Get out of my water closet immediately. Can I have my pants back? No.